All right, you guys. So we're gonna do a bit of urban trout fishing. Let's go, Andy. Go to the draw. It's correct. Ah, well. This one's perfect size. First cast. Oh. Missed one. Yes, sir. Fish on. Fish on, you guys. Nice little truck. Oh, just threw the lure back. Let's try it. Long cast. Yes, sir. Oh, no, miss. Fuck. That's a nice fish. Oh. I think he's back on it. Oh, got it. Bunch of fish here. Oh, my nice fish. Big fish. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh. On this. Oh, loose bit the drag. Oh, that's a beautiful fish. That's not a bad one. By any means. Ah, oh, it's not a bad one. Good fish. Nice little trout. On the drop shot rig. Classic. Yes, sir. Beautiful fish. Oh, that's really nice colors. We toss him back. Bye, Bubba. Yes, try for a two for two. Two casts, two fish. Let's go. Oh, right in the money right there. Right in the current. Let's go. Two for two. Oh, here's one. Let's try it back. Nice. Oh, nice one. Nice trout. On the Xenon. Beautiful fish. I think that's a male. Yeah, I think that's a male. This brook trout has very, very, very nice colors. Nice trout, nice trout. Yes, yeah, Another one. Nice. Throw it. Throw it right next to the ice, maybe. Oh, yeah, there, there's a fish there. There's some fish there. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. Oh yes. Nice trout. Beautiful trout. Very chunky, beautiful, chunky fish. Chunky, chunky. 
that's just one hooking. Look at the colors in that fish. Beautiful. Quickly release. Fish is happier. I'm happy. Everyone's happy. <laughs> What's up? Aujourd'hui, je me suis planté en descendant le banc de neige. Il y a du bon en plus, man. J'ai failli scraper la Zenon. Mais je me suis dit, je vais sacrifier mon dos pour la Zenon. Oh. oh oui, 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 oui. Oh merde. Ils sont dans le courant pas mal, hein. Quand je castais là, souvent c'était à taper. T'as une une grosse hier, genre une grosse grosse. Hein? Non? Je sais pas, hein, les petites, ils mordent tellement rapidement qu'on dirait que les grosses, ils ont pas le temps de. Oh, oh, oh oui, oui, il y en a une belle, il y en a une belle qui me suit. Là. Oh, oh yes, oh yes. Oh, il y a quoi de beau là? Oh non, 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 man. Elle était belle. No, it's just all right. Ça, c'est genre la moyenne grosse que je prends, mettons aujourd'hui. Ah, il y a des roches, il y a des roches. Il y a des roches au fond, hein. Ouais. Mais la belle structure, je trouve, là. J'ai vu mon plus gros mosquée à vie ici à un moment donné, c'était tellement immense. Je suis pas mal sûr que c'était genre 54, 55 minutes, c'est insane. J'ai jamais vu un mosquée gros de même dans la vie. Oh, ouais. C'est ça, ça te correct? Oh, c'est beau ça. Un petit peu plus beau ça. Hey guys, I'm back out here at home and man, it feels awesome to uh, start off uh, the open water season. We caught, we caught a lot of fish and a lot of trout, so it was unexpected. I thought maybe we'll be catching walleyes. And um, you know, I'm just gonna go over the tackle that I used today, uh, just so you guys know what to uh, fish with in order to make a good opening season for trout fishing, especially when you're fishing for bigger trout. So, you know, the bait that I used today was a simple gulp minnow uh, in the three inch size. And this bait works really well. I like it. A bait that has scent injected in him and trout tend to rely on the smell uh, and the taste to feed. So I like, I would like to fish with those uh, little minnows. And because it's the gulp alive, they're scent, but gulp is um, a formula that's less soft the plastic the soft plastic is harder so the action is more subtle and when you're fishing in colder water or colder temperature like you know there was still ice on the water and where, where we fished that there was no ice because there was current so the water is obviously very cold 
Well, it worked very well because the action is subtle. And as for the rod and reel setup that I use today, I used my favorite rod in my arsenal. It's a Abu Garcia Xenon rod. It's in the six foot 10, medium light, extra fast action. And I paired it with the Abu Garcia Xenon size 30 spinning reel. In the other brands like Shimano, it's a size 30 is a size 3000. So it can give you an idea of the size of the reel that I use. And I put just a simple Cigar Smackdown braid in the 10 pound test. It works very well. The reel is very smooth. It's super light. It's the lightest, it's actually the lightest uh, spinning rod and reel combo that exists on the market currently. It weighs in at under nine ounces for the run and reel itself. So it's extremely light, you know, no fatigue on the wrist. And some reels in the market are, this, are the weight of the, the whole combo itself. So I highly recommend you guys to check it out, this combo. I know it's extremely expensive, but you know, when you're on the market for a high end, top of the line, spinning, rod and reel combo, I highly suggest you guys check out the Xenon. And just so you guys know, I am not affiliated with Berkeley Fishing Products or Pure Fishing. Um, so just so you guys know, this is my honest opinion on the rod and reel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, you can put a thumbs up to let me know uh, your appreciation. You can write down in the comments below any suggestion, any topic you want me to cover or any type of fishing you want me to do. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in.